Hi, my name is Kelly, and today I will be testing Piagnet's theory of cognitive development with two test subjects, one being from the pre-operational stage and the other being from the concrete operational stage. So for my first test subject, he is a 12-year-old male, meaning he is at the end of the concrete operational stage due to the fact that they remain in this stage until adolescence. And children in this stage are not tricked by superficial concepts and can reason logically about problems. So I will begin my experiment by placing two identical short glasses that contain the same amount of water. I will then pour one of the short glasses into a tall, narrower glass. My hypothesis is that when asked which one contains more water, the child will know that both glasses hold the same amount of water due to the fact that, at this stage, they understand the law of conservation. So you acknowledge there's two cups of water that have the same amount of water, right? So what if I take this and I put it into here? Which cup has more water? None. Why? Because they were both the same amount and you just put one in the cup of water that's taller. Even though it makes it look like more water, but it isn't. So as you can see, my hypothesis was correct. The 12-year-old subject did in fact understand the law of conservation, which states that even if the appearance of a substance changes in one dimension, the properties of that substance remain unchanged. He knew that the amount of water in that short glass would never change, although he did know that the long narrow glass would alter its appearance. So for my next tech subject, she is four years old, meaning she is from the pre-operational stage. And due to COVID, I cannot physically see her, although I did perform the same experiment on her. Just through text and images and someone else was there to guide her through the experiment. During the pre-operational stage, children begin to think more symbolically rather than logically. And I believe that my test subject Due to the fact that she is from the pre-operational stage, would pick the tall narrow glass because the water is at a higher level and children from the pre-operational stage will make this error even though they have seen someone pour the same amount of water into each glass because they don't physically understand the narrow diameter of the taller glass that makes the water level higher, meaning she won't understand the law of conservation. I began by sending two short glasses filled with water and one long narrow glass without water and I asked her guardian to explain that there are two cups that have the same amount of water and she understood that. Next I proceeded to record a video of me pouring one of the short glasses filled with water into the long narrow glass. After I poured the water into the long narrow glass, I proceeded to take the other short glass put them side by side for her to compare and I asked her which one has more water. Her guardian asked her and said that the big cup has more water and we asked the test subject why and she said because it was bigger. As you can see again my hypothesis was correct and the interesting thing is that the child assumed that the taller glass holds more liquid because obviously it looked bigger but they failed to understand the law of conservation. The fact that the water from one glass is going to be the same amount after being poured into any other container. As if they did not realize the water came from the same glass. Thank you for watching my video of how I can demonstrate to you what I have learned about developmental psychology. And I really hope you liked it.